90 Day Fiance star Angela Deem's most unhinged moments on the show are not just ones with Michael Alsami, her co-stars have also faced her wrath. 90 Day Fiance star Angela Deem has given the franchise some of its most savage moments and here's a list of her wildest scenes ever ranked. Angela is a 58-year-old reality TV star from Hazelhurst best known for her volatile relationship with Michael Alsami from Nigeria. The couple currently stars in 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. Season 8 where Michael is about to give an interview which decides whether Michael will get a visa for America. As revealed by Angela in February 2024, Michael came to the US in December 2023 and has already dumped her. Michael leaving her was always something Angela feared. Her jealousy was the number one reason behind most of her fights with Michael. However, it's not just Michael that Angela has had feuds with on screen. Angela has argued with her co-stars to the extent that producers had to intervene and ask her to back off. Still, Angela also has a fun side which fans see when she acts coy and flirts with her crushes when Michael is not around. All these moments define the savageness of Angela. Angela had gone to Nigeria to spend some quality time with Michael. But things didn't go as planned for the couple. Angela wanted to celebrate Michael's birthday, so they were planning to go on a boat ride. However, Angela noticed Michael had taken her to the same boat dock where he had taken a picture of a boat which showed a woman on it, sitting 20 feet away. Jealous Angela went back to her inn where she didn't allow Michael into her room. He had to sleep in his car and take a shower using a bottle of mineral water. Michael tried reaching out to Angela, who was getting her hair done at a local salon. Michael thought he could woo Angela with some cake. She'd forgiven him the last time when he offered her cake after the infamous BJ incident. However, Angela got Michael kicked out of the salon and told him the cake was not going to work this time, as he tried to explain himself. Angela took the plastic covering off the cake and, while telling Michael, you're not sorry, held the cake to his face and smashed it. There's your cake, Michael, she said while walking away. In 90 Day Fianza, Happily Ever After? Season 7, Angela flew to Nigeria without letting Michael know she was coming. Michael had created an Instagram account, while Angela always warned him against using social media, fearing he would cheat. Michael started asking Angela for money in exchange for deleting it. Instead of giving Michael the $5,000, Angela went right outside his house in the middle of the night with her friend Rain and began vandalizing his vehicle. Angela thought Michael was inside the house and ignoring her, but he was out with his brother. Angela busted off the front hood guard of the car. She also pried the front license plate off. She faced difficulty when trying to remove the back one when the screws didn't get loose. Instead, Angela began bending the license plate vigorously. I paid for this car, asterisk, 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 Angela said while declaring it was her car. She warned that she would be smashing the windows next. Angela did not know that Michael was not hiding from her. However, her abusive behavior was enough for fans to ask why she had not been kicked off the show yet or not been reported to the police. Angela did not like Michael making friends, whether they were men or women. She knew the men made fun of her behind her back and she felt threatened by the women Michael mingled with. Michael still didn't mind making Angela meet his friends. He wanted her to get familiarized with his social life in Nigeria. He once took her to meet some expats in Nigeria. They were all from America and Michael was learning about life in the US from them, especially life in Georgia. They informed Michael about the reality of segregation in some parts of Angela's state. Angela was not interested in meeting the strangers who were telling Michael about how to live in the U.S., she thought she was good enough to let Michael know about everything. Angela had several questions about these expats. He was also trying to broach the topic of Angela living in Nigeria. Angela's jaw dropped when she saw that Michael's friends were all women. She said she was done and left without even greeting the group. Angela blasted Michael for taking her to meet the women. There's not gonna be a marriage, she told him before yelling at him to shut up. Angela and Liz almost got into a physical altercation on 90 Day. The last resort when the former was unhappy with Liz, not defending Big Ed Brown. Big Ed had called co-star Kenny Brown, a b asterisk 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 asterisk, multiple times a day after Kelly called him out for cheating during a group therapy session game. Angela stood up for Big Ed and not Liz. Angela splashed Liz and Big Ed in the hot tub they were sharing with Kelly and Molly Hopkins. She said she was always supporting the underdog and somebody had to, as Liz wasn't taking up for him. I love you Angie, but you speak over everyone. 
Angela became angry when she saw Liz defending herself instead of grinning and bearing it like Michael. Angela climbed out of the tub and yelled, Ob asterisk 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 asterisk, don't go there mother asterisk 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 asterisk. Angela's asked Liz when she talked over her. Her question was laced with expletives. Liz stayed quiet through the ordeal, even as Angela was barely an inch away from her face, screaming. A staff member from the resort had to step in to break the fight, followed by the production. Angela didn't stop even then, as she'd attempted to follow Liz and Big Ed into their room before being pulled back by production. Angela underwent weight loss surgery in 90 Day Fiance, happily ever after. Season 6. At the end of the season, Angela got to flaunt the results of her gastric sleeve operation. Angela had lost 110 pounds by then. She underwent bariatric surgery, liposuction, and breast reduction. Angela developed a crush on Dr. Michael Obing, who did her breast reduction surgery. She even attended his birthday party in Los Angeles without telling Michael. Michael's aunt Lydia confronted Angela about it during the reunion. Naturally, Angela lost her temper when Lydia asked her to respect her husband. You mind your own business, you will not asterisk 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 tell my husband what to do. Angela got up from her seat. She was dressed in a red jumpsuit with a high Ariana Grande-inspired ponytail. She shockingly pulled down her jumpsuit and flashed at the cameras and told Lydia, suck on these brand new F asterisk 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 tees, asterisk 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 asterisk. How do you like that asterisk 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 now? Michael was upset, and the cast didn't know where to look. Tell all host Sean Robinson mouthed a wow. When Angela received massive backlash for what she'd done, she blamed it on some medication without going into details. 90 Day Fianza, happily ever after. Star Angela felt like Michael wasn't giving her enough attention while she was recovering from her weight loss operation. She didn't know that Michael was having an affair on the side with a woman he had met on Instagram. Angela had reached out to an artist from Canada to get a painting done for Michael. The artist was called Vasilios Soteropoulos, a.k.a. Billy, and Angela soon became friends with him. Angela felt herself getting closer to Billy while Michael was acting distant. Billy addressed Angela as his angel during the scene. Angela described Billy as a man of many trades. He used to be a stripper in the 80s and was known as the Thief of Hearts. He had certainly stolen a piece of Angela's heart, as she could be seen blushing while talking about him. Angela admitted she had a crush on Billy. She complimented him for still having the moves and the looks. Angela and Billy's connection grew as they started making TikTok videos of them dancing together. Fans often wondered who Angela's mystery man was until she introduced Billy on 90 Day Fiancé. Billy wasn't the only other man Angela flirted with on the show. Before him, it was Dr. Obing who had done her breast reduction surgery. Angela was taken aback when she first saw him at his clinic in Los Angeles. Angela thought Dr. Obing looked like Michael's twin. She giggled like a schoolgirl talking to her crush when she asked Dr. Obing if he was single or married. Angela was married herself, but that hardly mattered. Angela told Michael about Dr. Obing being his doppelganger during a call later that night. He was offended and did not approve of Dr. Obing operating on her breasts. As mentioned above, Dr. Obing's friendship with Angela was discussed during the tell all of season 6. Michael was not informed about the Los Angeles party. Angela had not been feeling well during the event, and Dr. Obing had even agreed to drop her at her hotel. Michael could have suspected that Angela cheated on him. However, Michael knew that while Angela did shamelessly flirt with these men, she was a one-man woman. Angela was never going to cheat on Michael. She only wanted to make him feel jealous. If Angela was flashing the cameras in the 90-day fiancé, happily ever after. Season 6 Tell All, she was screaming at her co-stars in the Season 7 reunion. Angela kept the cast waiting on set because she wanted attention and wanted to make a grand entrance. Angela walked into fist bump Big Ed and then saw one of her worst enemies, Usman Umar aka Soja Boy on a screen next to Kim Menzies. Knowing that Usman had talked ill about her with her husband, Angela clashed with him and the two began yelling back and forth annoyed at what was happening before her. Yara asked Angela to take a seat and to stop disrespecting the other cast members. As soon as she heard Yara, Angela left Usman and gave all of her attention to the Ukrainian woman. She kept asking Yara to shut up but seeing her not finch, 
Angela started screaming in her face like she did with Liz on 90 Day. The last resort. Yara wasn't intimidated by Angela at all. Meanwhile, Angela did not take a seat and instead stormed off the stage and out of the building, making Yara look like a hero. Angela was against Michael being friends with his group of goofballs who were always against their marriage from the beginning. They said that Angela and Michael's age difference of 20 years was weird. They'd told Michael that Angela was just like his grandma. They didn't like how outspoken Angela was. She had even thrown her drink on Michael's friend aide. They thought Angela was trashy. Knowing what they thought about her, Angela had reservations about meeting them again after five years. Michael hoped that his wife and his buddies would get over their past differences. Angela thought the goofballs were bad influences on Michael. Peter and Aid mocked Angela for being the talk of the whole town after the car trashing incident. When she complained about them knowing about Michael using his IG to flirt with other women, they said she was crazy. Aid told Michael Angela wasn't the best option for him causing Angela's mercury to rise. While Michael defended his wife, Aid asked Angela to calm down. You don't have asterisk 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 tell me to calm down. Don't you have asterisk 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 dare go there, Angela told Aid. She turned to dumbfounded Michael and said, You better handle this mother asterisk 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 or I will. Angela had screamed at Michael on his birthday through her phone camera. She was frustrated after Michael told her he had to spend his birthday at home because he was financially buoyant. Michael had made an Instagram account and blocked Angela so she could talk to other women. Angela had seen Michael getting sweet messages from random women on his page. When she asked him to delete the account, Michael demanded $5,000 from her. Angela has already been making the payments on his car and paying his phone bills while he asked for more money. 90 Day Fiance's Angela was upset with Michael, threatening her that he would take down the Instagram account only if she sent him money. Michael had told Angela that he wanted to become an Instagram influencer and make an income because she didn't really allow him to get a job. Little did Angela know that Michael had a secret girlfriend in America who he was chatting with behind her back and had met on Instagram. It will be interesting to see if Michael gets together with the mystery woman now that he's left Angela after coming to America.